Straight on with the action. Please welcome in from York, Harry Matthews. Harry Matthews, the Pocklington Rocket. 15 professional victories. 30 years of age, 263 rounds boxed as well. Very experienced opponent for Derek Asaze. Looks in pretty good shape as well. Heavy around the chest and back area. He'll be looking to get those shots away. He's not been at York Hall since 2014. He boxed an undefeated Tom Baker. And please welcome in, complete with musical accompaniment from Nockingham, Derek Asaze. His opponent, very interesting fighter indeed, Derek Asaze, the punching preacher. Four bouts, four wins, one of them by way of knockout. In fact, he has Callum Ide on his CV as one of his early wins as well, who we just saw in the ring. Lives up in Nottingham now, having been born in London. When he's not boxing, he is quite literally the punching preacher. He's giving right. sermons. So if it's a stoppage, you might uh, give us a little prayer at the end. <laughs> exactly. I suppose if he's got God on his side, then you're never going to beat him. But here he is, Derek Osaze. Most recent victory came in June against Liam Hunt in Bristol. He was twice a national champion as an amateur. Good pedigree then. He's here and he means business. Again, this one scheduled for four three-minute rounds. Introducing in the blue corner, wearing the blue shorts with a white trim. Weighing in today at 12 stone and four pounds in his 47th professional contest from York, Harry Matthew. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing the white shorts. Weighing in today at 11 stone and 13 pounds. The record of four victories from four professional contests. From Nottingham, the unbeaten, Derek Azazi. Your no. referee, Lee Cook from March. Your timekeeper, Nick Knight from Kingston. This is a super middleweight contest of four three-minute rounds. Well, we see many different shapes of super middleweights, these two. I don't yeah, want to yeah. say on the short side, because very often we see super mids over six foot, but they're five nine and five ten, respectively. They look like strong guys, definitely. Both, yeah, that's uh, that was the next point. Both muscle bound, strong guys. Four three minute rounds. Asaze in the white trunks. Harry Matthews in the blue. Asaze straight on the jab. I can release that right hand as well. He's got one stoppage victory. I think he definitely would like another one. So are using the jab to come inside and trying to line up the right overhand or uppercut. Well, he lands with a lead right uppercut there. He's sort of lent into that when he gets over the top with the right hand too. Oh, great and work from Asazi. Lands. Frees up that right hand very quickly. Really cracked through yet, but Matthews very aware of it. Spent the opening 40 seconds backing off. Oh, big body shot from Asaze. Rattled off the rib cage of Matthews. Tries to throw a lead right of himself, but Asaze is just marching him down at the moment. Gets through with the uppercut as well, but Matthews coming back with a counter left of his own. Yeah, Matthews is not, uh, not letting Asaze overwhelm him, which is good to see. But he is on the back foot, moving back all the time. Asaze is busy and he's always throwing, which makes it difficult for Matthews to get a foothold in the contest. However, he's not really tasted that Asaze power yet. But even when you're blocking these shots, it's going to be tiring. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, just even just moving that amount of muscle around would, uh, would take it out of you eventually. So we'll see how the fitness holds up, I guess. Asaze. Just got an uppercut through Matthews about 10 seconds ago. 
got, got caught with a good back shot. Then as well. Approaching two minutes of the opening round. Osaza just throwing at Will, landing at Will now. I think Matthews driving Asaze into the ropes just to get a bit of a breather of it. Referee breaks them up. And Matthews, after two minutes and 20 of this opening round, he's starting to breathe pretty heavy. He's finding yeah. it hard going out there. Yeah, I mean, Asaze just applying some horrible, horrible pressure here. Every punch is sharp, fast and powerful. He's landing heavy right hands to the body as well as Asaze. And again, look, Matthew's getting caught on the counter here. Low then, high from Asaze. Approaching the end of the first round. Nice, nice head movement there to get out of trouble as well. Lead right hand from Matthews there. But Asaze just walks through it. Yeah, he needs to watch out not to get careless. Right hook to the body, ends the round for Asaze. Impressive stuff from the man they call Delboy. Yeah, very nice, very sharp, very powerful. Great opening round. And the only knockout of his professional career came in his adopted home of Nottingham. Stopped Jacob Lewis in the first round at the Harvey Haddon Sports Village. Those of you tuning in from the East Midlands will know that place very well. But with shots like that and a style like that, you can see how a first round stoppage could occur. Oh yeah, of course. There's a bit, lots of power and you just need to walk into one of them and, uh, Ten you know, seconds. it can end your night. <laughs> seconds out. Round two. Well, Harry Matthews. He's got more defeats than he has victories, however. A few years ago, did box for an English middleweight strap. Straight back on the jab. Oh, very nice. Oh, and that one sent Matthews careering backwards as well. Asazi smells blood now. He's working hard on the ropes. Referee keeping a keen eye on this one. Matthews getting himself out of trouble. And moving quicker backwards than he has done all fight. Oh, oh, nice another, right another hand from Asaze. There's power in that right hook. He gets through with the uppercut again. Just landing at will now. The uppercut and the overhand right. Asaze. Well, he's almost winding up. Really trying to release the power of that right hand on Matthews. Sazo seems to have slowed down the punch volume a little bit, which I think is helping him pick his shots better. He's leading with that uppercut, then a left hand through the guard. If anything, is he perhaps getting a little bit too close on that right hook? Stifling it somewhat. I think Matthews is still feeling the pressure oh, here. Another beautiful uppercut. Just snaps Matthew's head up. Good and head again. movement from Asaze as well. Oof. Little bit low. And then apology coming straight in from Asaze. It's be welcome respite for Matthews to get a bit of air in those lungs. That's it, any, any breather helps. I think Matthews needs to um, show Zaze uh, his power, if he has any, just to demotivate this onslaught. Well, looking at the shape of him, there's definitely power there. It's just a case of whether it's all been punched out of him by Asaze in the second round. Just losing his balance there. Credit to Matthews, he's taken a lot of punishment, but he's managed to get himself out of trouble every time so far. Oh, and here's Asaze starting to shuffle. He's feeling comfortable out there. Oh, Only his fifth professional just... fight, but then Matthews lands his first clean right hand. 
Oh, he's got to be careful. Nice jab from Matthews as well. Another nice little body shot. That will just slow Matthews down more and more. Final few seconds of the second round. Both fighters visibly slowing down, I think. Asaze more so. It was a very, very high work rate to start the fight, so... Two rounds in, the halfway point of this one. Derek Asaze looks stylish. Harry Matthews looks durable. I say Asaze, Asaze could land some beautiful shots now. He just needs to slow it down and, uh, you know, pick those shots. Maybe a couple of feints and he would, he would really, uh, I think he could really hurt Matthews. But yeah, I mean, credit to Matthews. He is definitely a tough guy taking some big punishment here. Yeah, Sarze walking seconds. into those big body shots, putting his full weight behind them. Timed seconds a few out. beautifully. Round three. In and around the ribs of Harry Matthews. Round number three. Really interested in... How Asaze's work rate changes now, as you said, Conrad, he exploded out of the blocks. Incredible volume of punches. That's it. it. It does look like he's picking them a bit more now. Oh, good try. And that beautiful body shot as well. I think Matthews definitely felt that. Followed that up with the right hand. And then a nice slip to get out of the way of what Matthews threw back. Switching as well. I think he wants to land one. In five seconds of the third round gone. Sanze certainly on top of the fight. Uppercut gets through again. trying to get down to the body. Every shot's a power shot with the Sarze. That's it. In terms of releasing the hands, he doesn't waste many. Nice uppercut there. Lead him with the right hand. Throwing that to begin the combination Another round the back as well. Shot. Matthews just clips the Sarze there, reminds him he's in the fight. That's going to be grinding Matthews down, though, all the body shots. Well, everyone is going to diminish a little bit of that power that he's got Definitely. in the top end. Just under two minutes of round three gone, and Asaze crunching through with the left hand this time. And like you said, the, pa the, the power is just not sort of slow, uh, coming down at all. It's just 100% every shot. I think the thing for Matthews is when Asaze gets in close, is he almost has time to set himself. Matthews isn't doing anything to diminish his rhythm at the moment. He did. He did. He did try and throw, throw a looping uh, right hand, but just wasn't enough. 30 seconds of the round remaining, and Matthews getting through with a couple of it. Little reminder for Asaze that this isn't a foregone conclusion. Oh, nice there. right hand from Matthews as well. The best shot for Matthews of the fight, I'd say. But now he's on the run. As is, it seems to have just angered Asaze. Well, the noise in the crowd has increased and both fighters have responded in kind. Could be set up for a grandstand fourth. A few seconds of this third remaining. Bell goes again. The third round has proved to be the best of the bout. Yeah, I, th I think uh, it looks like uh, Matthews is getting into the fight as it goes on, so hopefully uh, we'll have an action-packed fourth as well. Good crowd gathering here at York Hall. Long night of boxing. We've got 15 scheduled bouts with one exhibition as well. 
is the second on the card. Most of them over four, three minutes. And I think Harry Matthews is having a conversation with the corner. Ten and seconds. I think he knows he's going to need a stoppage to end this one. Yeah. Or Second to win this one, should I say. Fourth and last round. Final round. Derek Asaze. His speed has certainly diminished, but his power certainly hasn't. Harry Matthews showed a few flashes of what he's all about in that third round. That's a nice jab there, but Asaze, that kind of just sets him to work. All oh, right, yeah, he, he keeps getting sort of caught with silly shots. They're not really hurting Asaze, but... Oh, nice stuff from Matthews again. Didn't hurt Asaze, but clipped him, sent him backwards. So it's like Matthews is starting to wake up towards the end now. I think Harry Matthews would almost wish it was a six-round bout and he could ground his way back in. Yeah. Minute gone. Those headshots are crunching Matthews' neck. He keeps kind of stretching out his uh, stretching out his neck. They're obviously doing something to him. Oh, nice work from Asaze. Sarzai showing beautiful hand speed, and when he lands a shot as well, he just throws in a couple more. He looks like, in time, he could go up a gear in terms of yeah. his his performance. I think this is a good arena for him. But he's an ambitious fighter. I think he wants to go up the ranks. 24 years of age. Yeah, I mean, he's young. He's early in his career. He's, I think he has a pretty bright future ahead of him. Final minute of this one. Credit to Matthews, he's continued to graft. Certainly you behind just, on my scorecard. You just have to be careful with these guys that kind of cover up a lot of the time because, you know, they, they'll, they'll throw that one shot and it can, you know, if you get caught, if you get caught with a silly shot, it can kind of ruin your night as well. So he needs to stay switched on. Into the final minute then, Asaze versus Matthews. Asaze on the front foot, Matthews marching backwards. That's been the general tale of the tape here at York Hall. I think Derek Azaze just getting a little word from his corner to keep his hands up as he lands another body shot. But Matthews comes another, out of that one. Another rib crunching shot. Jab is just landing now at will. Matthew's hands are getting heavy and lower, lower down. That takes us to the end of the four rounds. We go to the judges' scorecards again. A good four rounds from both fighters, but I think Asaze is going to come out on top of this one. Yeah, Matthew seemed to get into the fight a little bit more as, a, as it went on, but too little, too late, I would say. Mark Schmidt just getting the final results before he announces this one. The punching preacher goes back over to the corner. Harry Matthews over in his corner looks as fresh as he's looked for four rounds. Uh, he's ready for another four, I think. Fighters are ready, as Ladies is Mark Schmidt. Let's get the result. Four rounds of super middleweight action. Referee Cook scores the contest 40 points to 36 points to your winner and still unbeaten from Nottingham, Delboy, Derek Azazi. For 40 36. For Harry Matthews. It'll look comprehensive on Azazi's record, but I think Matthews gave him a bit more of a difficult fight than that. Yeah, I don't think he maybe wasn't expecting uh, Matthews to be as tough as he was. 
But, you know, it's a good learning fight.